All right, YouTube. So um, today I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, cold intake adapter for your racing mower for these old school opposed twins. This will go from different size engines, as long as it's opposed like this one. So here I got a uh, end cap from Ace Hardware. It's a three inch. What I did is took the original gasket that sits where the original filter goes with the three uh, screws that hold it on. I traced it on here, drill these holes out, and it goes as it sits on it. I put a little RTB silicone on it. And you could put these cone filters, cold intakes. This uh, filter was like 12 bucks on Amazon, free shipping. And you also need one of these, I don't know what they're called, but uh, it's called a reducing coupling. It goes from that, uh, I think, four inch or three inch to two. And it fits right over this, like that. And what you do is just squeeze it on, like that. And the reason why I make this video, I am making this video, is because uh, I never seen videos on how people build racing mowers with coat intakes like these opposed twins. But what you just buy this, it's probably like way cheaper than any other metal parts you'll need. And that thing just slides right on like that. The hose clamp is on, then you just look at that on. So, and you just tie them up with these hose clamps that are provided with these things. You can get them from Ace, pretty much any, anywhere from Ace Hardware. Or Home Depot may have them, or your plumbing store if you have one. It's hard to make this video with one hand, so. But anyways, that's how you put a cone filter or a coat intake on racing mowers. This is my racing mower I've been building on. 20 horse, opposed twin brakes, new pistons, piston rings, new cam. I uh, got my LED light bar on there. Two new front tires that I'm waiting on the back ones to come. This motor's been built from ground up. The crank's been regrounded. Um, I got some money in here, but uh, it's worth it if you love doing racing motors. So, you know, tighten this one up so it holds the, the cone filter on. Uh, before, I used to just slip it in, but into the white PVC pipe, but it got annoying every time I go ride because this thing is about 21 miles right now it's it's pretty quick for a little toy to drive to the store or just to have fun with, with buddies so as you can see I'm tying that up right there which goes to this old clamp I just want it all very tight not too tight where it'll, it'll pinch your air air off. See, it needs a little bit tighter. seats on so let's so say you make these your adapters this was seven bucks the PVC pipe was like three bucks so about ten bucks in parts you got yourself a code intake versus spending thirty thirty dollars and up on the metal ones that are pre-made for them just a little bit of time and a little bit of tools I'm pretty sure everyone has you can do it with a knife I use a jigsaw to cut mine, the PVC pipe, or if you have a sawzall. But jigsaw works good because the blades are really small and it's pretty easy just to make a circle with, or unless you have big enough drill bits. So that's a coat intake on this racing mower. Um, I'm in the process of painting the chassis of the mower all blue and I'm getting the rims repainted black. 
and come to spring this is all going to be repainted with shiny, shiny gloss black gotta fix that little dent but it's in the working process um, so there you go that's how you make it